from the area's leader in live local news, this is WYLN News, the area's number one source of live local news and information in Luzerne, Schuylkill, Carbon, and Columbia counties. WYLN News starts now. Good evening, and thank you for joining us on WILN News. I'm Paula Dagnan. Tonight, across the country, police departments and community organizations are hosting National Night Out. August is the month that police departments across the country hold the National Night Out events every year. National Night Out events are held to give the community an opportunity to interact with police and other first responders. They've been held since 1984. Locally, police departments and community organizations in McAdoo, where our Gary Perna is, in Berwick, where Julia Wiegand will visit, and West Hazelton, where our Julie Stefanovich will stop by, as well as Cunningham, will all be hosting events tonight, and most are getting underway now. We'll have a full recap here tomorrow night on WYLN. After a countywide robbery spree last November, a Hazel Township man has been sentenced to state prison. 42-year-old Raymond Boiling has been pleaded guilty to three counts of robbery and a count each of attempted robbery and theft by unlawful taking back in March. Bowling will spend 9 to 18 years in jail for robbing or attempting to rob several stores in the Hazelton area and Plains Township last November. Two Wilkes-Barre men were arraigned after allegedly carjacking a female victim back on April 3rd of 2016. 21-year-old Corey Thomas Patrick and 23-year-old Demetrius Laws were charged with robbery. The woman told police one of the men grabbed her legs, the other got her into a 2015 Chevy Equinox. After a struggle, the men drove off in the vehicle. Police found a pair of prescription eyeglasses at the scene that allegedly belonged to Patrick. The vehicle was later found after police tracked it by using OnStar. Patrick and Laws were charged with robbery, theft and con criminal conspiracy after their arraignments bail set at $250,000 each. A friend of the accused Laughlin arsonist was arrested Monday on possessing crack cocaine in Kingston. Police say 29-year-old Tyla Marie Griffin of Nanticoke was found in possession of a bag of crack during a traffic stop in the area of Pier Street just after 2.30 Monday morning. After being taken to police headquarters, Griffin removed a glass crack pipe from her pants and tried to hide it in a hole on a bench, according to a police report. When police found the pipe, Griffin became aggressive and threw a transport belt and handcuffs against a wall, breaking the handcuffs, according to police. Police then charged her with institutional vandalism, tampering with evidence, possession of drug paraphernalia, and drug possession. She's being held in the Luzerne County Prison, bail set at $100,000. Griffin previously made news after being charged, along with Preston Bonnet, with access device fraud and conspiracy for possessing materials used to make fraudulent credit cards. Prosecutors allege Bonnet returned in October and torched a home, killing his ex-girlfriend's three children. As we reported yesterday, the death of Linda Frick of Kingston has been ruled a homicide. Frick's body was found in a vehicle outside her boyfriend's Kingston home on Saturday. She died of multiple traumatic injuries that, according to the Luzerne County Coroner's Office, after an autopsy. Police charged Dana Ganji with aggravated assault and simple assault in connection with the woman's death. Ganji and Frick were romantically involved, according to a police affidavit. 39-year-old Ganji is being held without bail at the Luzerne County Correctional Facility and has not been charged with homicide as of today.
A McAdoo man on the run since June 20th was allegedly spotted in western Pennsylvania. Surveillance pictures obtained by the FBI show what appeared to be Sean Christie at a Sheets gas station in Allegheny County July 30th. According to the U.S. Marshals Fugitive Task Force, Christie is a suspect in a vehicle theft in West Virginia that occurred on August 2nd. The stolen vehicle later found in Kentucky. Again, anyone who may have information on Christie's whereabouts is asked to contact police. He's considered armed and dangerous. The Hazelton School Board held a special meeting last night to hire new and replacement positions and let others retire. 16 replacement special education, early intervention, and PKC paraprofessionals were approved, as well as the board also hiring a new seasonal security officer. Two teachers and one speech pathologist have officially retired, as well as one specialist in the administration building. The board's next monthly meeting will be taking place August 23rd at 6 o'clock. Coming up on WILN News, a move for some students for the upcoming school year, plus everybody in the pool. And it was a perfect day for it. But first, let's take a look at our seven-day forecast. Some strong thunderstorms with heavy downpours making their way through the area now and overnight, the low 67. More of the same for tomorrow and Thursday, but by Friday, we might see some sun. We'll be right back. At Grand Central, our family has been supplying your family with quality brand name furniture, mattresses, and appliances for over three generations. Whether you choose from our excellent selection of Lazy Boy, Catnapper, or England furniture, or from our fantastic selection of Sealy and Stearns and Foster mattresses, we guarantee total comfort in every room of your home. With expert advice, everyday low prices, plus interest-free financing for up to 60 months. From our family to your family. Grand Central and Hazleton, everything to make your house a home. Serve the Lord singing for joy, the CD by the Sisters of Holy Annunciation Monastery can be yours for just $13, which includes shipping and tax. Mail a check to Holy Annunciation Monastery, 430 West County Road in Sugarloaf, Pennsylvania, or call 570-788-1205. This 10-song CD can be yours for just $13. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. Finish & Company reviewing their 2017 audit to determine rates for its customers and its financial status. The PA Infrastructure Investment Authority requires rate review to predict the cost of a lofty dam revitalization project. The authority board determined a rate before its initial deadline with PINVEST on June 1st, but revoked that decision at the board's May meeting for further review. Due to additional work and trouble in construction, a loan increase of just over $3.8 million was approved. An annual report for five years is required of the authority regarding the wetlands. The annual report for 2019 shows they're thriving, and the report can be waived for the remaining three years. Many students who attend Emanuel Christian School in Hazleton will have a change of scenery for the upcoming school year. The school is expanding and 7th grade to 12th grade students will take classes at Good News Church on Laurel Street. Plans to use the churches upstairs for classrooms were finalized last week. Pre-K through 6th grade students will take at Emanuel Christian's original location at 725 North Locust Street. The school and church plan to have an open house in the near future for the community to attend. 
the new school year for students at Emanuel Christian School begins September 4th. Many who are seeking relief from the sweltering heat can once again find that at Knobles Amusement Resort in Elysburg. The Crystal Pool is back open for business after being shut down for two weeks because of heavy rains and flooding at the park. The pools filled the floods rather filled the pool with mud and crews worked to clear out the mess and acid wash the entire pool. The pool reopened yesterday to all those attending Knobles. Coming up on New Cranberries News Choice, Pennsylvania State Police Hazelton will be visiting Community and You, plus high school football? Ryan Osachi has a preview. But first, let's take a look at today's winning midday lottery numbers. Good luck if you played. Stay with us. Physical therapy and balance centers. It's spelled different because we are different. Physical is unlike any therapy center you've been to before. If you're tired of living in pain, if you want to move better, overcome an injury or balance disorder, or you just want to improve your strength and conditioning, our highly skilled team of medical experts will help you get back to living the life you enjoy. New mentality, new body, new life. Get physical. Pocono Raceway is summertime, where the whole crew's invited, where fans become friends, where good times roll, and the racing is always a little tricky. Bring your friends, bring your family, just bring it. Pocono style. Do you like craft beer? Do you want to learn the right way to sample wine? How about visiting a restaurant that has a unique flavor or a crazy food challenge? These are just some of the types of things that we will be featuring on our new show, Wine, Hops, and Road Stops. Jeff Bonomo, host of Off the Beaten Path, welcomes you into the world of craft beer, great wine, and good eats. Wine, Hops, and Road Stops. Here on WY Leonard Road, I'm Gary Perna, and we are starting a new segment within Community and You that uh, we're going to have a friend from the Pennsylvania State Police with us here, usually Trooper Petrowski, but we may have some other ones with us joining us to talk about um, laws and things that are going on that we all should be aware of here in the Commonwealth. And first of all, uh, Trooper, thanks so much for coming on and agreeing thanks to do this with us. Absolutely. Uh, we're going to start with uh, Troop N's Citizens Police Academy, which will be kicking off shortly. And um, you guys had this last year yes after uh, quite a bit of uh, a hiatus with well, 15 the, years wow yes. yeah. so 15 years in between it but last year was a big success you guys said we should do it again absolutely you know what it's a great program for the community um, it, it gives us maximum amount of participation and interaction mm -hmm. between the community that we serve and us and what it is, is it's eight consecutive Tuesdays two and a half hour sessions and each week there's different presentations um, from within the state police and other agencies mm -hmm. that really gives people an inside look of law enforcement so this is um, maybe something that is good for anybody who has any type of questions dealing with law enforcement. Um, maybe they're you're curious about maybe some laws, uh, and better ways to protect themselves. This is something they should know about. Absolutely, yeah. Again, they're hearing from all different entities within the state police. Um, it's geared towards anybody in the mm -hmm. community, really. Um, anybody that lives in Troop N's coverage area, which is Lower Luzerne County, Carbon, Columbia, and Monroe counties. Um, there's no, you have to be 18 years or older to mm -hmm. sign up, and it's completely free. Um, again, it's at Penn State Hazelton, and anybody who's thinking about going into law enforcement, uh, anybody who's just interested or who's looking for something to do, it, it really is a good program. People who signed up last year, they really had a great time. 
Um, you know, it doesn't certify you in anything. You don't right. come out as a police officer, but it gives you a really good understanding of the different mm -hmm. types of jobs we have within the state police and how our department operates. And this will run from September 25th through November 13th, and it's from 6 to 8.30 at Penn State Hazleton. Yes. And if you want to uh, apply for this, you have a deadline of September 10th. So if they want to, uh, other applications to fill out a phone call, how do they do it? There's an application. Uh, it's real brief. It just needs to be filled out and emailed to me or you know sent to me at the State Police Hazleton Barracks. Mm -hmm. All of the applications are at each barracks within Troop N, which is Hazleton, Bloomsburg, Fern Ridge, Lee Heighton, and Stroudsburg. Okay. If anybody wants an electronic copy, they could just email me at anpetroski at pa.gov. All right, so, and again, this is uh, through September 25th through November 13th. It's Troop N Citizens Police Academy. Kind of learn a little bit of background uh, and, and learn about what the state police does. Um, and it's a really uh, interesting program. We covered it last year here on WYLN, uh, and our reporters, that this, it was actually something to learn on our side as well about some things that go on. Uh, Trooper, again, this is a great thing for anybody who's kind of interested in law enforcement yes. or and I should ask you, last year, you know, what was kind of the age range did you see that were showing up to, to this? So it was a good age range. We actually we had a lot of students from Penn State Hazleton that are in the criminal justice program. Okay. Um, it's right there on their campus, so it was easy for them to right. show up. Um, we had some individuals that were, you know, kind of up there a little bit too, that just simply are interested in law enforcement. Right. They wanted to learn more about it. It was a great age range. It really was. Um, and that's what we want. We want people from all over. And we had people coming from Monroe County, um, you know, drove a little bit to get here, but right. you know, it's only two and a half hours every Tuesday for eight weeks, and it really is a great program. We encourage anybody who's interested. If you have any questions, you can feel free to call me at the State Police Barracks in Hazleton. All right, well, Trooper, thanks so much. And again, the Citizens Police Academy that's put on by Troop N here uh, in Hazleton that will go on from September 25th through November 13th. For more information, you can reach out to Trooper Pachowski here at the State Police Barracks. All the information has been up on your screen uh, throughout this segment. Trooper, thanks so much. Uh, we're going to see you every Tuesday here on WILA News Sounds giving good. us some, some insight and some information for everyone. Thanks for joining us here on Community and you everyone. We'll see you next time on WILA. SJ Kowalski is your Mitsubishi Diamond Contractor. They can install a Mitsubishi Electric Mr. Slim ductless heating and cooling system. Mr. Slim systems are designed to make any living space in your home inviting. You can have a different temperature control for every room in your home. The money-saving technology can save you 25 to 50% on your heating bill. For Mitsubishi, Renai, and train comfort specialist, call SJ Kowalski at 570-455-2600. Hi, I had a very minor uh, fender bender tonight in an unreasonably narrow fast food drive through lane. Don't worry, I have everything handled. I already spoke to our Allstate agent, and I know that we have accident forgiveness, which is so smart on your guys' part. Like, the fact that they'll Four just... weeks without the car. Okay, yep, good night. With accident forgiveness, your rates won't go up just because of an accident. Switching to Allstate is worth it. Visit your local Allstate agent, the McNeilis Agency in Hazleton at 1092 North Church Street, or in hometown in the hometown village square. WYLN, first in live sports. We bring you the event, not just the highlights. Live coverage of the high school football season starts August 24th on WYLN. We're your local network. WYLN TV 35 is looking to hire a highly motivated, energetic salesperson for the Hazleton, Wilkes-Barre, and surrounding areas. Send your resume to the email or the address on your screen. WYLN is an equal opportunity employer. It was last Friday. The Berwick football team held its media day for fans to come out and meet the coaches and players. Our Ryan Osachi went down to get the scoop for the team this year. The Berwick football team held their media day Friday night at Kurtzman Memorial Field. Last year, Berwick went 10-3 losing in the District 2 Quad A Championship game against Valley View. Coach Frank Sheptock is trying to piece the team together at the beginning of summer camp. I think we're going to have the weapons on both sides of the ball. We definitely have some question marks, and I think the challenge of our camp is really trying to focus on those question marks to make our team a complete team. There are many returning players Shep Talk is glad to have back. 
definitely think when you start on a defensive side, you got to start with Tegan Wilk. Obviously, he had a great year last year, uh, made a lot of explosive plays. I think that, you know, he's someone that people want to know where he's at because he can make a lot of plays from that standpoint. Uh, at the running back position, Owen Shoemaker did extremely well last year. He was uh, sharing time with Evan Klinger, but rushed for almost a thousand yards. He's a strong young man. You know, definitely brings a lot to the table. Well, I think we have an interesting battle at quarterback right now. Uh, Alex Force did extremely well for us last year. Ryan Lobo is also doing very well. You know, both um, very good in their own right. So the competition is sort of bringing the best out of both of them. Shep Talk knows the line of scrimmage is what they need to improve for this year. The games that we lost last year, especially in the last month where we lost to Williamsport and Valley View, you know, that they won the battle on the line of scrimmage. So the offensive and defensive lines, we've really been putting a lot of time into that. There are many leaders for the Bulldogs, but Shep Talk feels Joe Lynn stands out among the rest. Uh, Joe Lynn by far. I mean, Joe Lynn has done a great job for us from the very start. Real proud of him. He's a hard worker, plays real hard on Friday night. The players respect him. He communicates well. You know, he just has all those great leadership qualities. Joe feels he is a good leader because he has a good relationship with the team. Back when I was younger, there was always like that age gap. And I feel like this year we're all like one. Like the sophomores, like I can sit down, ask them, hey, you want to go out to eat? Like we're, we all just have a really good relationship. Joe is very confident for this upcoming season, as well as Coach Shep Talk. I feel like we're definitely going to be really good, really good. And we, the past couple of years, we've been falling short of the district championship. So I feel like we'll be able to get through that with how star studded our offense and defense is. Our team, we just need to go in, not thinking about personal accolades, and just, just play as a team and win games as a team. You know, it'll be an interesting year for us, but I think that we'll, you know, we'll be, you know, right in there, uh, you know, at the end competing and trying to be a championship program. And you know, I think the boys work hard and, and you know, they have high expectations and um, I'm very proud of them for that. Berwick plays their first game Friday, August 24th at 7 p.m. at home on Crispin Memorial Field against Abington Heights. In Berwick for WILN News, I'm Ryan Osachi. Thank you, Ryan, and that will be here before you know it. And on this Tuesday, we are now 32 days away from Hazleton's Fun Fest. It will also be here before you know it. This year, the Pregnancy Resource Center will once again host their baby crawl race. Make sure you come out and cheer on the cute racers who will be in town. There's one right there on your screen. Fun Fest, September 8th and 9th in downtown Hazleton. No, that's not Gary Perna. Stay with us. A look at today's weather is next here on WYLN News. Chura's Auto Sales has been serving the area with quality vehicles since 1954. Chura's Auto Sales is known as your friendly dealer and now in their fourth generation and voted the best used car dealer by the readers of Standard Speaker Choice Awards. John Chura would like to thank everyone that voted for his business. When you need a quality pre-owned vehicle, choose from a large selection at Chura's 570-454-7229. For over 25 years, Whitetail Preserve Shooting Range, 118 Boulevard Road, Bloomsburg, has provided professionally designed skeet, trap, and sporting clay fields. All stations are handicapped accessible with resident NRA certified shooting instructors on site. There are packages available to fit anyone's budget, restaurant and catering on site. Our facility is also available for weddings, business meetings, bachelor and private parties. Call 570-384-2314. week on Let's Talk Chiropractic, you're going to meet Colleen Cavallo, who has a very interesting story to tell. And her story shows how the effects of spiritual and emotional trauma can cause just as much damage as a physical trauma. Her story and her first steps towards healing this week on Let's Talk Chiropractic. Join us.
watching Wilkes-Barre's Choice for news, weather, and live local sports. WYLN, we're your local network.